medical stories. A recent report on cancer screening tests raises some serious questions about whether or not they're worth your while. Local 12's Liz Bonus is asking the experts about it in today's Medical Edge. Consumer Reports on Health recently published this summary report on cancer screening tests. It based its reviews on information from the U.S. Preventative Task Force. And that's a group of uh, health healthcare professionals that have taken the time to look at, you know, what's the cost to benefit ratio for some of those tests. The report actually looked at screening tests that they say confuse rather than clarify. They found cervical cancer screening, colon cancer screening, and breast cancer screenings were worth your while. But they raised a few questions about some of the others. Dr. James Marr is a medical oncologist yeah, with TriHealth. He says the questions come from evaluating these screening tests by asking, Is there going to be a one where you're going to catch it early, but also are you going to save that life? versus are you going to create so much anxiety or difficulty from that test such that it's not worth the benefit. Based on that criteria, they concluded that oral cancer screening at the dentist, as well as several others, including bladder, lung, ovarian, prostate, pancreatic, skin, and testicular cancers, were not worthwhile. Dr. Marr says that means we don't make these screening decisions in a vacuum. Dr. Marr says many patients, such as Dale Sheehan, who has liver cancer, have no symptoms prior to diagnosis. None. None whatsoever. I wanted to get my blood pressure checked and uh, my liver enzymes are a little high. Still I had no symptoms, I had no pain, no anything, and they, they couldn't believe it. So that means regular doctor visits are the best way to find out if a test is needed. As for Dale Sheehan, he is doing well. He's even told me that I'm an unusual person, an unusual patient, and you know, so if I could be your poster child for success, sign me up. Quite a spirit, in spite of the odds. In Monfort Heights, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And we welcome your questions for providers at TriHealth. You can just go to our website, local12.com, and click on Ask the Expert.